Well, ladies and gentlemen, you've been working through your gratitude document. You watched this video about Kid President. You already answered these questions at the bottom. And as I have done, you have already entered your answers to the things you are grateful for around the board. You, If you are watching this video, it means you are on step three. You are watching this video on your iPad. And on your Chromebook, you are going to follow the directions. So I'm going to show you how to do something on your iPad, and you will do it on your Chromebook. So on your Chromebook, you're going to click right here where it says here. I will do that now. I'm going to take you to a word art page. You should have your gratitude paper open on this side, and you should be able to go to your word out and art and go back to your gratitude paper. So now I'm going to show you how to make a word cloud. You're going to use these words that you entered into the boxes. On word art, you're going to work over here. You can see that there are already words in the word art. You're going to erase those. So click on each one, word, and remove. Cloud, remove. Art, remove. Now there's nothing there. Nothing you do will show up here until you press visualize. Don't do that yet. So the first step is to type in your word. So see where it says type a new word? Click on it. You can look at your document. My first word is pizza. I will type pizza. Then I will click add. My second word, sunshine. I will type sunshine and then add. Type new word. Christmas. Christmas. Type new word, add. Type new word, my next word is soft. Go all the way around your board, typing the new word and then clicking add. I'm gonna go ahead and finish that for myself. Okay, so you can see that I have gone and entered all of my um, words. I am going to press visualize, but we're not done. So now I've pressed visualize. You can see all of my words over here, but now I'm going to change what it looks like and make it look like I want it to look like. So first I'm going to click on shapes. Look at all the choices, tons and tons of choices. I really like the owl choice. So I'm going to go to the owl. I click on that. Now I want to change my words. Uh, there's lots and lots of fonts. Um, I really like this one. Looks fun. And I can go to layout. This is how your words go. You can choose how you want your words to be. I'm going to click on random. Okay, and next I'll go to style. This is where you change your colors. Right now it says shape. I'm going to click on custom. Now, if you click on the colors, you can add the colors you want and take out the colors you don't want. I don't want this color, so I'll click there. I like these two colors. I don't like that one. I'm going to take that out. I'm going to change my colors. I'm going to add some purple, add to palette. I want, I already have some blue, mint green. I'm going to add some blue. I'm going to add that to palette. I want some pink. I'm going to try to find some pink. That bright pink, I really like that. And maybe some bright green add to palette. So now these are the colors I will have. I will press close. I want a background color. I think this would look really cool on a black background. Apply. And now I'm going to press visualize to see how my words come out, how my word cloud comes out with all the changes I've made. Loading, visualizing. Ooh, I really like that. If I click on it, or I'm not even clicking on it, I'm just putting my mouse over it, it makes my words big. And I don't, apparently, pizza's the biggest. Um, I wonder if that's because it's the first one. So. Up here it says pizza default font default. I don't know. It's just the biggest. So I really like that. I'm ready to share it. So I'm going to go up here way at the top and I press share. 
right here, you're going to click on link. Don't forget link. And it says your word art link to share. I'm going to click copy to clipboard. And it says this link has been copied to clipboard. Close. Now you're going to share it with other people. You will get to see theirs and they will get to see yours. You can comment on them. So now go back over to your gratitude hyperdoc, the one I shared with you. On number four, it says click here to go to Padlet, post your word cloud, like and comment on your other others' work too. So I'm going to click here, Padlet. This is what will open. Okay, this is one I made before. I'm going to share my new one. I'm going to go down here to the plus. And right here, do you see these little symbols? This symbol right here means a link. Right here. I'm going to click on link. And if I click here, I'll press control, click, and paste. Then I can press save. Now what should pop up is my owl. Let's see if it comes up. There it is. So if you click, if I clicked on it, other people can see it and they can see what things I am thankful for. If I go back to the Padlet, this is one I made earlier, but we can pretend it's somebody else's because you will be able to see the ones your classmates made. You can click on them and see what they're thankful for. And in Padlet, you can add hearts and you can add comments. You can say, I love your heart. Okay. I am so excited to see what word, cl art, word clouds you make. Good luck.